Hello everybody, and this is a um, quick introduction to Scribus and what we're going to be doing this um, this bimester. This is our first video lesson. Now, Scribus is a desktop publishing uh, suite or program. We're using Scribus and not uh, Publisher, for example, because Scribus is a little closer to a professional application. It has a lot of the the tools that the professional applications have and uh, the, it, it uses the concepts uh, that the professional applications use. A publisher is very simple, it's, it's for home use but um, for very specific applications uh, but it doesn't give you the freedom that a software like InDesign or in this case Scribus or Scribus uh, gives you. Okay, so let's begin with a new document right here. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, the size of our paper is letter size. That's what we use here in Guatemala. The measurement right now, it's in points. We're going to leave it at that. Points is the same as uh, what we use to say the size of the text. 12 points, 14 points, 10 points, etc. Um, this can all be changed later on, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Let's just begin a new document. Right off the bat, you can see that uh, I have my document uh, page, and I can zoom in, zoom out, etc. All right, and I have uh, some information at the bottom, the points, the measurement. I can change it on the fly right here, and I can. I have a button here that shows me the print normal vision or uh, the work vision right uh, up uh, up top we have the menu and a few buttons um, buttons uh, file functions like save print close open new etc and some copy paste right here cut copy paste undo some things that we can insert we will be that these are the tools the basic tools that we have for creating a document and some uh, specific tools for PDFs and we're gonna see how those work later on alright so right off the bat I'm going to show you that uh, I have my I had my grid visible but I can hide that or show the grid grids are very useful kinda like to keep things in line uh, I can snap to grid this is the function that I want to use because I want when I draw, I want my lines to adhere to the grid points, right? So in my page, snap to grid, view, show grid. That's what I have. And the first tool that we're going to practice with is the Bezier curves right here. The It's the one that looks like a fountain pen. And these ones are interesting because uh, the way they work is you click on the starting point, click and hold the ending point, and you drag to create the curve. Okay. And you can see how the curve kind of, you're dragging a string. Think about it that way. That pulls your curve. And then, then the next segment of the line maintains that, um, that curve. It kind of like tries to continue your curve. Okay, so th weird things might happen if you if you try to bring it back, for example, and and then it's not clear what's going on. So if you want to finish, you can finish by clicking on the Bezier curve or the shortcut, which is B, in B as in boat, uh, here in Scribus. So you click B, finish the curve, B again to start another curve. Okay, so. Usually when you have segments, uh, like weird lines, weird curves, you don't want to continue the curve. You can just press B and start a new line at the end point. Let's finish this curve. I don't like how that looks, but hey. Let's bring it over here. B to finish. And there you have it. There you have your curve. Okay. Um, oh, actually it's two separate curves and you can see how that, how when I separate them, um, only one comes in because I finished and started a new curve. 
we have two separate curves. We can actually, oops, sorry guys, clicking all over the place here. We can actually select one, if I can manage to select one, or I actually I can drag and select both. Oh, shift and select the second one. So there I selected both. And I can group that, I can create a shape. If I click item, I can uh, connect the paths, for instance, at the endpoints. Okay. And there it tried to calculate. They weren't lining up correctly, so it tried to to calculate the, uh, which didn't really work out. And that's because I moved it all around. Anywho, Bezier curves, that's how they work. Click on uh, the beginning, the origin. Click on the end and hold and drag to create your curve. That's how, that's how it works. All right. So that's uh, Bezier curves, and what we want to do now is practice a little bit. Okay, we want to practice uh, with the curves, and I'm going to give you guys an exercise that you're going to do. You're going to uh, split the page into um, different sections, and you're going to do it with the shape tool the rectangle right there. I want you to create six large squares like that. You can click S. S is the shortcut for the shape that I'm making. You're going to do this. And then in each square, notice that the grid lines, I'm taking like four big chunks for every square, right? Uh, and with your Bezier tool, you're going to draw some lines and recreate the exercise that I'm that I'm going to give you uh, in campus so good luck with that and uh, practice with the Bezier curve remember you click the origin and then you click and hold for the curve and you drag the curve and then you if, if you continue if you just continue the line you can click and hold again and continue the curve. There you go. Here uh, I'm going to finish. So I'm going to press B to finish and B again to start a new line. And this is actually the first uh, part of the exercise. There you go. So click and hold to drag the curve and then I just click to finish my line. B to finish. There you are. That was the first one, so now it's your turn to try the next ones. Good luck with that, and I'll see you in class.